T-Mobile is out with a new 5G device, a USB modem that has two firsts in the 5G world. Stay tuned for the details. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're going to talk about a new device that recently came out for T-Mobile. And this is a USB modem uh, created in cooperation with electronics manufacturer TCL. And this is called the LinkPort IK511. Now this device has two firsts. It, first of all, it is the first 5G USB modem that's been uh, commercially available in the US. And it is also the first consumer device released in North America that uses a little known 5G standard called 5G red cap or reduced capability. So we'll explain what that means here in a minute. But this is a USB modem that's uh, designed for USB connectivity only. So you uh, take this device with the USB cable and you plug it into a laptop or a tablet and it will provide a cellular connection uh, to that device. Uh, this is again the first 5G USB modem available. However, it is different from most 5G devices because of that red cap specification. So what is 5G red cap? 5G red cap is an acronym. It stands for reduced capability and that is meant literally meaning this is a specification that it intentionally has lower performance than your standard high performance 5G that you'd find in a smartphone, mobile hotspot, or cellular router. Now this uh, specification is designed to have data rates up to the hundreds, low hundreds of megabits per second, as opposed to high performance 5G, which is in the multiple gigabits per second. So that is a significant reduction in performance. But the beneficial trade-off of that is that uh, 5G red cap devices are much less expensive because they're simpler and they're cheaper to produce. Um, they are smaller so they can fit in more types of devices and they use a lot less power. So for devices that don't have uh, large batteries or require low power, it can also be advantage there. So they're really designed for those places and use cases where you need uh, moderate data performance, not the real high performance, but you need all those other benefits of a smaller form factor, power savings, uh, and uh, reduced price and complexity. Now, along with this uh, specification, Qualcomm, which is the leading cellular modem manufacturer in the world today, uh, created a 5G red cap modem, the first 5G red cap modem, and that is the Snapdragon X35 modem. And this is what powers the link port IK511. Now, the X35 uh, modem has peak theoretical speeds on 5G of 220 megabits per second and 200 megabits when on LTE. Additionally, the peak upload speeds are about 100 megabits per second for both. So those are both significantly less than a standard high performance 5G device. Of course, it goes without saying that these are peak performance numbers that are really only seen in perfect conditions in a laboratory and out in the real world, uh, your real world performance is going to vary quite a lot and be significantly uh, lower than those peak performance numbers. So that's something to keep in mind. Now that lower performance may be fine for most use cases and it may be fine for you. That's up for you to decide, but it's important to note that this does have lower performance than a typical 5G a device that you may be used to. Now, as far as the LinkPort IK511, it is a device that is designed for the T-Mobile network. It really only has bands that support T-Mobile's network. Uh, it's only sold by T-Mobile, so it really can't be used on other networks. Now, one of the unfortunate uh, downsides of the LinkPort IK11 specifically is that it does not support one of T-Mobile's most important 5G bands, which is band N41. We don't know why uh, they decided not to support N41 in this device, but that is going to uh, be a performance hit as well because N41 is one of T-Mobile's highest performing bands. And it also accounts for a lot of T-Mobile's coverage maps. So 
uh, you're getting hit from both ends with this device with the lack of N41 support. So that is something to definitely consider as a negative if you are looking at this device. Now, the link port is available for T-Mobile Business, T-Mobile Postpaid, and T-Mobile Prepaid. The cost is only $96 for this uh, USB modem. So that shows the advantage of the cheaper red cap devices that don't have to have uh, batteries, Wi-Fi, and have that much less expensive modem in there. Um, you can get this on T-Mobile's standard uh, mobile internet plans, the highest uh, data plan you can get on this is a 50 gigabyte plan for $50. Uh, this is one of our top pick plans for T-Mobile. Uh, there are lesser data options available from two up to 30 gigabytes, uh, depending on which uh, plan you need. And of course, T-Mobile, as they always do, tend to run promotions with new devices. So be sure to check out to see if there are any promotions running for data plans if you decide you are interested in this device. So that does it today for the Linkport IK511. It's definitely a very interesting, unusual device, something we haven't seen before. USB modems sort of fell out of favor a while ago, and maybe they'll take a, make a comeback with the IK511. Uh, however, for our audience of uh, mobile internet uh, users who are looking for high-speed data connections similar to a home connection while traveling in a van, boat, or RV. This is not too exciting a device, especially considering the trade-offs of no band N41 and the limited signal enhancing options you get with a USB modem that doesn't have antenna ports and is not very uh, compatible with cellular boosters. So it might be a great option for those who are looking for basic connectivity in urban areas for a laptop or a tablet, but for the typical user who's looking for a lot of high speed, uh, high performance and reliable data connectivity, this is probably one to skip. But we would like to hear what you think about this device, about 5G RedCap and uh, what your thoughts are on whether red cap devices are going to be worth it for you. Is that lower data performance worth the trade-offs of having a much cheaper uh, 5G connectivity? Let us know in the comments and tell us what you think. And if you found this video informative and, or just enter entertaining, please uh, consider subscribing to our channel and leave a like on this video. Additionally, uh, we do have a companion article that goes uh, much deeper into uh, the link port and the 5G red cap specification. And some of that information we have in there is member exclusive. And we go much deeper into the technical and analytical side for those who are interested in that. So if you're interested in our membership program, it is what is funds everything we do here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, including making these videos. So we encourage you to check out our membership program, which does come with a lot of benefits uh, in the description below where you can find a link. So that does it for today. We hope you stay connected, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.